A little over two hours on the interstate brings you to Chillicothe, Illinois, in a non-conference battle between the Macomb Bombers and the IBC Grey Ghosts. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Chillicothe, Illinois, in this non-conference battle between the Grey Ghosts and the number 20 in Class 2A Macomb Bombers at 20 and 5. We'll have the starting lineups, the pregame, give you all the information you need to know and more. It's the Bombers and it's the Grey Ghosts on Tuesday Night Basketball from Chillicothe, Illinois. It's next on the Bombers Sports Network. Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber Athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family-owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyMCA.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA, McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years older. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Billy's Furniture. Quality, style, comfort, and value. You'll find it all at Billy's Furniture in Macomb. Stop in and see Jeremy and the guys today for all your furniture needs. Located at 1401 East Jackson Street in Macomb. This is the Alan Thompson State Farm in Macomb pregame show. Welcome back to Chillicothe, Illinois. And IBC High School is the Macomb Bombers, the 20-ranked Macomb Bombers, are set to take on the Great Ghosts in just about 11 minutes. Macomb coming off a... Nice weekend victory over the 24-seeded Rock Falls Rockets and a thriller at the hangar. The Bombers held on and took that one at home and started a new streak at home, 61-57. That was on Saturday afternoon. Prior to that, a win at South Fulton to clinch the Prairie Conference Championship. That scored 50-32 over the Rebels of South Fulton. A good atmosphere inside of IBC. We have the band playing behind us. Macomb fans Traveled pretty well for a Tuesday night game. It's over about two hours away. And uh, the Bombers looking to pick up a win on the road here tonight. And, you know, this Bomber team just has to bring some energy to the floor, and they'll be able to do that and get some shots to fall. And you get to get a nice bus trip, a nice long bus trip back to Macomb a little bit better with the win on the road tonight. A tough upcoming schedule. Macomb has the IBC Grey Ghost tonight. And then they're back at home on Friday night for senior night against the Camp Point Central Panthers, who are going to be looking for revenge after the Bombers beat them in the semifinals of the Macomb Western Holiday Basketball Tournament to advance to the 930 and uh, the Premier Championship uh, back in December. Following that, though, on the 13th, they'll face Tyler Dushinsky's Pace and Seymour squad, always talented. And then they close out the regular season in bragging rights style against Monmouth Roseville this time at the hangar. Jeremy Anderson shaking the hand of Quinn Morrow, and they'll have the captain's meeting at center floor. We're back with Keen's keys to the game after this. This is the Macomb Bomber basketball pregame show and the Allen Thompson State Farm pregame show from Learfield. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, Things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just a game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. It helped me become not only a better official, but a better person. 
It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Bombers, Dracos back here at IBC High School. Both teams warming up. Eight minutes until we get underway. Let's talk Keen's keys to the game here on our Allen Thompson State Farm and Macomb pregame show. For surprisingly great rates, like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson, State Farm and Macomb is there. Number one, Macomb has to win the rebound battle. If you get on the boards, grab the rebounds, you take it the other way, you get transition off into baskets. Number two, the Bombers have to get to the free throw line in this contest. They did a nice job of that against Rock Falls, including Drew Watson's clutch six of six down the stretch to clinch the game. Bombers win a perfect 11 of 11, 100% the first time they've shot 100% at the free throw line since earlier in the season, averaging just about 57.1. They have not shot 100% with more than five free throws, I believe, all year long. Close um, was 4 of 4. They were 10 of 13 against Rock Ridge at the Holiday Tournament. So a nice uh, game from the free throw line the other night against Rock Falls. So if the Bombers can get to the free throw line, that is another key. And then finally, the Bombers cannot commit turnovers. They have to be smart. Uh, when they have the ball in their hands, they have to be able to get up and down the floor and, and not get those silly turnovers, which has kind of uh, been a struggle in the middle of the game or late down the stretch. So can't turn the ball over in this one. IBC's looking to protect their home floor, and they uh, look to pick up a win against the number 20 seed, 20 ranked Macomb Bombers. But the Bombers are hungry, and they know how to take care of business in any gym on any night. 6.45 until we get this one underway. It's the Bombers, and it's the Grey Ghosts. Tuesday night basketball from Chillicothe, Illinois, and it's next on the Bombers Sports Network. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family-owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. Shop local. Shop Macomb. It's the Bombers, and it's the IVC Grey Coast. We're kicking uh, off our schedule of one of two games tonight on our schedule, and we'll have the National Anthem now. That was the IBC pep band right behind us with the uh, rendition of the National Anthem. Do things a little bit different here. There's still um, well over five minutes left on the uh, warm-up clock, so the Bombers are in the locker room, so a little bit different. So we weren't expecting that quite yet, but they're doing their fight song in the National Anthem here, and they'll be ready to go. 3.50 until we get this one underway. Bombers and IBC in a non-conference battle. Viewers from all over tonight. Hannibal, Missouri, along with Belleville. Buckeye, Arizona. Texas, along with Florida, Arizona, California, 
Viewers tuning in from all over. Good to have everybody with us tonight. Bombers and the Grey Ghosts of IBC. It's a non-conference battle. It's next on the Bombers Sports Network. We'll take one final break. Back with the opening tap after this. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Shop local. Shop Macomb. Justice Keene back with you here at IBC High School. They're finishing up the pep songs. And the 20-ranked McComb Bombers at 20 and 5 set to battle the IBC Breakos tonight here at IBC High School in Chillicothe, Illinois. Just about two minutes until uh, we get the opening introductions from both sides. And you look over to the left side on the wall here at IBC, you see a 2006 IHSA Class A basketball state runner-up banner. McComb Bombers were in that 2006 uh, Elite Eight. Coach Watson's team took his team all the way down to Peoria and the Peoria Civic Center to battle it out one last time, and they end up falling in the quarterfinal round. McComb has never made it to a semifinal or a trophy round, or for that matter, brought home a state trophy in any sport um, at the high school at the high school level. So the Bombers still looking for an elusive uh, trophy, but the Bombers were in that final four uh, back in 2006 with an opening uh, round loss, but always um, an honor to simply make it to the Civic Center or the state finals in any matter. Um, but IVC did take home that 2006 state runner-up. About minute 24, Bombers are back out on the floor getting some final shots up before this ball game commences. And Bombers again, two games this week against uh, IVC here tonight, and then we'll be back with you Friday night against the Camp Point Central Panthers for senior night. It's going to be a fun week indeed. Plenty of basketball all week long. Congratulations to the girls team. They picked up a 41-33 win over Illini West last night on senior night to close out uh, their home schedule at Illini or at the uh, hangar. And they play postseason basketball this weekend at Macomb High School. Let's send it down to the table for the opening introductions. Junior, number three, Brendan. 
Let's get ready to rock and roll. The Bombers and the IBC Grey Ghosts in non-conference basketball action. Tonight's officials are Mike Bromley, Isaiah Dotty, and Eric Lane. Bombers in their road blacks with the orange trim. IBC in the home whites with the maroon colors on the sides. Bombers and IBC, a non-conference friendly. It'll be Doyle along with Wetzel Spot at center court to tap it away. Bombers, Grey Ghosts, non-conference basketball. Strap yourselves in, folks. This is Macomb Bomber Basketball. On the Bombers Sports Network, up and underway. Bombers control the opening tap, and we are underway and fired up from IBC High School. Bombers trying to set the tone early. 15-foot jumper, pull up good for Dion Doyle, and the Bombers set the opening tone with a 15-foot pull away, good from Dion. 2-0 McComb, 30 seconds into this ballgame. The other way now, IBC getting their first look at the basketball tonight. Top of the key on the outside for Cowdwetty. He drives in, tosses one up off the back iron, and it will stay with IBC. Out of bounds for the hometown squad of the Gray Ghosts. Quick toss in, inbound, put up off the back iron. Good, up and in for Morrow. Ty Morrow with the first basket for the Gray Ghosts, and we're tied at two apiece. 60 seconds into this ball game, outside perimeter Doyle, the feed corner find Drew Watson. Watson looks top of the key, finds Bishop. Bishop down low to Doyle, 360 spin around from the block, gives out to Case. Case drives in, finds a path off the back iron, up and in. Case on the board for the first time tonight, and it's 4 2 Bombers. Back and forth we go. IBC with their second possession of the basketball. Swing down low. Quick basket up off the back iron side of the rim. No good. Rebound at Doyle. Basket was no good from Stephen Braun. And our whistle and a foul. Foul number three, Brendan Coventry. picks up the foul. His first, team first. So Coventry, the first foul of the ball game. Bombers get it down low. Hold house in the paint. And a whistle and a foul. IVC will pick up their second foul of the contest. Foul by number three, Brendan Coventry, his second. Coventry, back to back fouls for him, his second, team second. He's got both of them. And he will have a seat quickly. Quint Morrow changing up his lineup. Watson feeds outside. Holt house for three. He's called for a travel. And the Grey Ghosts will maintain possession now the other way. 4-2 Bombers, 6-16 left. First quarter non-conference basketball here in Chillicothe, Illinois. Grey Ghosts take it across the center floor. Yates with it, top of the key, feeds corner. Lobber with it. IBC setting the tone. Almost a traveling violation there from Braun. Braun able to recover. Bombers up in the defensive pressure, though, with Drew Watson down low. Gray Ghost kick back top of the key. Holdhouse up in his pressure, and a whistle stays with IBC. Gray Ghost basketball out of bounds, 542 left. 4-2 Bombers, opening quarter action here in Chillicothe. Yates with it. Find Stephen Braun in the corner. Inside of the block, they'll find Morrow. Morrow, pull-up jumper, got it. 
Kai Morrow's got all four points for the Grey Ghosts. Two baskets. We're tied at four apiece. Holdhouse to bring it up the floor. He'll give to Drew Watson. Watson outside case for three. Won't go at the quarter of the back iron. No good. Bishop's there to put it back. His shot doesn't go either. Rebound. Great ghost and Wetzel Spratt. Three minutes into this ball game, we're tied at four apiece. IVC looking for their first lead here. Three ball won't go. Rebound Doyle. Bombers can take the lead back. In the lane now for Holthouse. Tosses one up off the left side of the back iron. No good. Ahead for the Great Ghost. Lobber in the paint. Spin move. Toss up won't go. Ball loose. Whistle and a foul. Tyler Lobber picking up his first personal for IVC, his first team third. Drew Watson to take it out of bounds. IVC already with three fouls in this ball game. Just a couple of minutes into this. Conley from the free throw line, back out. Doyle, he'll fire a three. Why not? Off the back top, no good. Rebound, Gray Ghost still take it back the other way. Not a lot of, not a fast-paced game by any means here. Both teams kind of doing what they like on the offensive ends as of right now. Down low and whistle and a foul. We'll see. Looks like it could be on Drew Watson. And it will be his first personal. Bombers team first. First free throw of the contest from Braun won't go. Tied at four apiece. IVC can take their first lead of the ball game with a free throw here. And they got it. 5-4, and IVC has their first lead of the ball game. Watson on the outside. Feeds Case down for the key. Corner now, Braden Holthouse. Two dribbles down low, Doyle. Doyle, spin move. He's double teamed. Tosses one up. 15 Feet pull away, got it. 6-5. Dion Doyle might be the best player I've seen at that in a long time. Just those inside the paint shots. He can get them to fall anytime you want to. Outside perimeter. Lobber with it. Back top of the key. Yates. Feeds corner now and finds Braun. Braun back to Gates. Gray goes swinging around. Three and a half to play, opening quarter, 6-5. Bombers by one, out of bounds. McComb basketball, in comes Jake Hobson for Jeremy Anderson. Ian Case will get a breather. And the Bombers take it back the other way. Up one, 3.23 left in the opening quarter here in Chillicothe. Conley back to Hobson at the top of the key. Hobson to the corner and finds Braden Holthouse. Holthouse with a drive in the lane. Kicks out Drew Watson for three. Won't go. Gay Gross get it back and Ward feeds ahead. In the lane, spin move. Turnaround won't go. Up and no good for Wetzel Sprint. Holthouse ahead to Doyle. Bombers trying to do something with it. Swatted away by the Gray Ghost. Stays with the Bombers. Two fifty-one left, opening quarter. IVC trailing by one. Bombers in control, six-five. Holthouse, why not a three? Off the back iron, no good. Rebound, Doyle. Spin move, trying to contort his way to the basket. Whistle and a foul. IVC's fourth. Let's see who it will be charged to. It will be twenty-one Brady Ward, his first personal team at fourth. Sends Doyle to the line for the first free throws for the Bombers of the night. His first free throw, missed it. Off the front of the rim, no good. Doyle at the line. So Doyle missed his first one. Now the second free throw. Got it. Used every part of the rim. 7-6 Bombers. Excuse me, 7-5 Bombers. In control of this one on the road. Outside perimeter now for the Gray Ghosts. 
As Lobber drives, tries to do something with it. Tosses one up, won't go. Rebound Doyle ahead the other way. Doyle feeds the corner, finds Drew Watson. Watson out top to Hobson. Feeds to Holthouse. Bombers moving it around with 2-10 to play. They lead 7-5. Down low, Hobson. Toss up, scoring a foul. And that is our first Harry Masato golf course in one. We'll see if Jake Hobson can get up and down from the free throw line. 9-5. Bombers lead IBC on the road. That foul was charged to Adam Wetzel Spratt, his first personal. Team fifth, which means McComb will shoot two free throws. Rest of the way, this being an and one, just one free throw. Ball tapped away, and IBC takes it towards their end. And back to McComb. It will go thrown away off of IBC. 9-5 Bombers. They lead by four on the road here tonight. Here is Conley across midcourt. Conley, Watson feeds the corner. Case on the outside, back to Conley. Bombers moving around here, minute and a half to play. Opening quarter, they lead by four. Drew Watson for three. Bang! A brown shoe fit. Three ball, courtesy of Drew Watson, the first one of the night. McComb 12, IBC 5, 123 left in the opening quarter. Ward with it, sinks back to the top of the key for Lobber. Lobber lost control of it, stolen by Holthouse. IBC knocks it away. And it will stay with McComb out of bounds. 109 to play, opening quarter, 12-5. Good to have everybody with us tonight. Let us know where you're tuning in from in the chat below. And that has the right to frustrate anybody in the gym, especially if you're McComb there, that errant buzzer, as the official already gave Holthouse the ball to begin with. Bombers get it in, though. 104 left, opening quarter. They lead 12-5. Holthouse. No look pass to Case. Can't convert off the rim. Down low, Hobson out of bounds. Goes basketball. Radcliffe to bring it up the floor. He'll feed to Coventry. 47 seconds left. Down low, Ward. Ward, spin move, foul, and a score and a foul. Brady Ward up and in for the Grey Ghosts. Count the basket, foul on number 20. Ian Case. Foul charge for the McComb Bombers, Ian Case, his first personal team second. Ward, a chance to cut into the Bombers' lead. They won't off the front of the rim. Rebound, Jake Hobson. Hobson looking to do something with it. He'll feed to Drew Watson. 35 seconds left. Bombers struggling in a trap situation. Feed ahead to Ian Case. Case in the paint. Blocking foul. And McComb again with IVC with five fouls already. That was actually the sixth team foul, but we don't have to keep track after five anymore. But Bombers will shoot two the rest of the way here in this first quarter. First one good. And again, we talked about one of the keys tonight for McComb was getting to the free throw line, and they've done so already. Five free throws shot in this game already. They're, they've made two out of the five. In this case misses the second one, 12-7 Bombers. IBC can have the last possession of the quarter if they want, but still a lot of time, 20 seconds left. Coventry. Coventry over to Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe top of the keys, guarded by Conley. 15 seconds. Morrow in the corner to Braun. Eight seconds left. Outside perimeter, Coventry. Five seconds, 13-7. Up, no good. One second. Conley, not even close. 13-7 after one quarter of play. Back with more from IBC and Chillicothe after these local messages. 
we're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official. Officiating was part of our family life. It wasn't just the game. You get to be outside, you get to like experience the game. It's so much more fun. You can get a lot out of it. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. To help me become not only a better official, but a better person. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Ready to get the second quarter underway. Justice Keene, happy to have you alongside us tonight. IVC and Macomb going at it here in Chillicothe, Illinois. Non-conference basketball Tuesday night. One of uh, two games we'll bring you this week. We'll have senior night for you on Friday night. So, Bombers and Camp Point, but that's later this week. And the Bombers battling IVC right now. Second quarter just underway. Bombers taking care of business 13-7. That ball knocked out of bounds. Macomb basketball. Viewers tuning in from all over tonight. Good to have everybody with us. Hannibal, Missouri, along with Macomb, Illinois. Macomb, Macomb class of 1970. Good to have everybody with us. Winter Haven, Florida as well. Again, we're on YouTube as well. If you want to stream to the TV now that we are into the evening. That ball saved by Case. And IBC takes it back the other way. Yates on the outside. Quick spin. Ball pass over to Kai Morrow, who's kind of been the saving grace of IBC in the first quarter. Hit the first two baskets of the game and then hits the three ball right out of the gates for IBC. 13-10, one possession game again. Watson in the corner, back to Malachi Conley at the top of the key. Conley over to Watson. Back and forth they go with each other. Watson found a path. Pull-up jumper from 20 feet. Won't go off the left, right side of the rim. Case in the paint, looking. Finds Holthouse on the outside. Holthouse drived and a blocking foul. Foul for number 22, Stephen Braun. Stephen Braun charged with the foul. His first, team first as well. 13-10 Bombers. Doyle on the outside, back to Conley, top of the key. Case down low with it. Case, pull-up jumper, off the top of the rim, no good. Ball loose, Conley! Gets it up and in. What a shot there by Malachi Conley. He was in the air and tosses it up, works out 15-10. Bombers get it back to a two-possession ball game. Wetzel spread at the free-throw line, kicks over. Whistle, out of bounds, Bomber basketball. Six sixteen left, first half, McComb 15, Gray goes 10. Holthouse brings it across the midcourt, IVC logo. Nice facility here at IVC High School. Huge gym and good hospitality. As Doyle gets one to go as well, 17-10. Doyle's first basket of the second quarter. With 5.48 left in the first half. Braun with on the outside, back top of the key, Wetzel Sprint. Wetzel Sprint over to Yates. Conley, defensive pressure, knocks it into the hands of Holthouse. Don't leave Deion Doyle by himself, slams it home. What a dunk by Dion Doyle, exclamation point there. Timeout, Quinn Morrow. Timeout, IBC, 30-second timeout. 19-10, and Quinn Morrow wants a 30-second timeout to talk with his team. Bombers in control of this 19-10 on the road tonight. Coming off a big win over 24-ranked. Rock Falls Rockets on Saturday at the Hangar. And might be one of the best comebacks we've seen from this McComb team in a long while. Down big in the early stages, but able to battle their way back and get a home win. And 
hoping it translates the rest of the season. Ghosts take it back the other way. 5.25 left in the first half as we're welcome back with Thunderstruck. Well, ACDC kicked in the corner now. Morrow will drive. 10 feet jumper won't go. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up. Swatted by Case down low. Sloppy basketball. Watson finally grabs it. Ahead to Conley. Conley in the lane. Over to Doyle. He's in trouble. Double team. Whistle and a foul. Wetzel Spratt's charged with the foul, his second personal, team second as well. Sends Doyle to the line for two. Doyle one of two on the night from the free throw line, made the second free throw in his attempt in the first quarter, makes the first one there. Bombers win double-digit lead now. 5.05 left, opening First half, second quarter, Bombers by 10, 20-10. This to make it 21-10 and an 11-point lead. Got it. No problem. Right through the middle of the net. Two of two goes Doyle, 21-10. Bombers in control. Coventry to take it across the midcourt. Ahead, here is Yates. With defensive pressure by Braden Holthouse. Over to Coventry. Coventry guarded by Conley. IBC trying to find something. Bombers playing good things on the defensive end tonight. Morrow with it. Ahead to Ward. Long three ball from Yates. Got it. Cole Yates, his first basket of the night. 21-13, McComb leading IBC. Here's Braden Holthouse looking, finds Hobson top of the key. Connor Bishop. Bishop looks, Hobson, it'll be off of Jake Hobson. And the Grey Ghost will have it back. Four minutes to play in the first half. Bombers lead at 21-13 on the road tonight. Yates outside perimeter, kicks down low Ward. Ward back to Morrow. Down low, toss up off the back side of the rim, no good for Ward. Bombers get it back, 345 left. Holt House looks for Conley, back to Case. Case to Hobson, and he's fouled in motion. Quinn Morrow not happy, his team in foul trouble tonight. Brady Ward will pick up his second. Team third. Three players for IVC have two fouls already as Hobson makes his first one. All those players who have two fouls are starters except for I guess two out of three, Brady Ward came off the bench. He was the first player off. Twenty-two thirteen, three thirty-seven left in the first half. Hobson second free throw. He got it as well. Bombers back in control by ten. On the road. Coventry to the corner. Finds Braun. No look pass, and it was intended for Lopko. Nowhere to go with it, though, as the Bombers will get it back with 3.24 left. Conley to Watson. Watson to bring it up the floor. Quarter now, Connor Bishop. Two dribbles, Bishop. Down low look to Hobson. Pull away. Jumper got it. Jake Hobson gets it to go. Been playing well lately for the Bombers. Good convert there, 25-13. Braun with it, down low, another turnover, back-to-back -back offensive turnovers for the Grey Ghost, 2.57 left. Conley to inbound. Conley to Watson, 2.50 to play, Bombers 25, IVC 13. Doyle in the paint, kicks outside top of the key, Watson. 
Free ball won't go off the top of the back iron. Put back up and good for Jake Hobson. Eight points for Hobson tonight. 27-13. Coventry gets it across the midcourt line, guarded though by Conley there, who has added the defensive pressure. IVC moves around. Yates at the top of the key back to Coventry. Coventry at the top, drives, floater, fouled in motion. And that foul will be charged to Malachi Conley, his first personal, team first. And it will send Coventry to the line for two free throws. First free throws of the second quarter for the Ghosts. Missed the first one off the front of the rim. Holthouse will come in for Connor Bishop. Second free throw for Coventry. Got it. 27-14 now. Coventry goes one of two. 27-14, 2.08 to play in the first half. That'll be Auto Sales halftime show coming up next. No look pass to Doyle from Holt House. Ball's loose. Coventry dives into the front row. And they're going to give it to IVC. Zach Keen can't believe it. Neither can Jeremy Anderson. Can't say I blame him as the IVC player hopped into the first row of the bleachers with the basketball. Coventry goes right to the basket. Missed it off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound Doyle ahead to Holt House. Top of the key now, Conley. Over corner, Holthouse for three. His first one of the game if he makes it. In and out, no good. Dragos get it back. Morrow ahead for the three ball from Cole Yates. Wouldn't go. Rebound of the paint from Lomko. Lomko trying to do something with it. Tosses it up, but Jake Hobson is too much. Doyle gets it back. Corner, Conley. Conley looking. 114 left. 27 14. Bombers in control. Watson. And Conley moved too fast. Out of bounds. Gray goes basketball. Quinn Morrow makes changes in his lineup. Radcliffe will return along with Cole Yates. 59.0 to play in the first half. Across the midcourt line. Steichel with it. Down low pass to Stephen Braun. Braun turns it over, though. Watson to Conley. Conley trying to convert. And he's fouled. So Kai Morrow will pick up his first personal. Team fourth. Conley will go to the free throw line for two. First one from Conley. Got it. Forty-one seconds left in the first half. Second quarter. Twenty-eight fourteen. How about twenty-nine fourteen? Two of two for Conley. seconds left, first half. Cole Yates kicks to the corner, finds Steichel. Steichel top of the key, down to the corner. They'll find Ratcliffe. 20 seconds left. Yates. Old house up in the defense. 13 seconds left. IVC under pressure. Corner now. Ratcliffe. Stolen away, Holthouse, all by himself. Braden Holthouse up to the basket, his first basket of the night. All by himself right before the buzzer. 31-14 in a closing basket, courtesy of Braden Holthouse. Bombers with a nice lead going into the locker room to talk things over. We'll be back to talk things over with you after these local messages. 
Bomber Basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber Athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyymca.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA in McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years and older. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Billy's Furniture. Quality, style, comfort, and value. You'll find it all at Billy's Furniture in Macomb. Stop in and see Jeremy and the guys today for all your furniture needs. Located at 1401 East Jackson Street in Macomb. Westside Lumber of Macomb. Located at 1301 West Jackson Street in Macomb, Illinois. Shop based hardware for your grills, hardware, home improvement, lawn, and garden tools. Westside Lumber, your helpful hardware place. Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. Pumo Insurance Agency, let their friendly, experienced, and knowledgeable staff help you find the best coverage for your needs. Whether it be home, auto, life, agriculture, individual, or group insurance, they've got you covered. Pumo Insurance, 19 East Side Square in Macomb. First Bankers Trust Company, where customers are always first. Proudly serving the communities of Quincy, Menden, Carthage, Rushville, and Macomb, along with Springfield, and adjacent counties in Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. The best financial service company in the market. Run LB Auto Sales halftime presentation, and let's enter the LB halftime uh, report. Welcome to the Run LB Auto Sales halftime report. Justice Keen with you here at IVC High School in Chillicothe, Illinois. Let's give you uh, kind of a recap of the first half, a solid start for the Bombers, and we kind of talked one of the keys to the game was getting to the free throw line. The Bombers did just that, shooting plenty of free throws. 205 in the first quarter, but 6 of 6, perfect 100% in the 18-point effort of the second quarter led um, by Jake Hobson's two big baskets along with Doyle's two big key baskets along with a slam dunk in there too. So Bombers are playing well tonight. Double, um, you know, double digit lead at a couple different times. And, you know, that's what it takes to get a win on the road. 13 points in the first quarter, two of five from the free throw line, 18 in the second, six of six. IVC had seven points in each quarter. One of three from the from charity stripe in the first quarter, one of two in the second. The Bombers just kind of outrunning the uh, big gray ghosts in all forms right now, kind of scaring them out of the gym. 31-14 at the break. 11 points for Dion Doyle. He is the leading scorer for McComb. Four points from Malachi Conley. A brown shoe fit three ball from Drew Watson. Three points for Ian Case. A basket for Braden Holthouse. Eight points for Jake Hobson in the 31-point effort. For IVC, Illinois Valley Central, three points for Cole Yates, a three ball there. One of two from Braden Coventry, which means one free throw for him. Two points for Brady Ward, 
Seven points for Kai Morrow and a free throw. One point for Stephen Braun. 31-14 here at the halftime break. Bombers again, one game left in the week. They'll play Camp Point on Friday night for Senior Night. But first, they look to close out a road win here. Bombers 31, IVC 14. This is the Rally Be Auto Sales Halftime Report from Learfield. We're back here at Illinois Valley Central High School, IVC, Chillicothe, Illinois. Minute 40 until the second half commences. Quinn Morrow and Jeremy Anderson's team out on the floor getting some shots up. For the buzzer sounds, it'll be Bomber basketball to start the second half. Bombers trying to close this thing out. 16 minutes left and look to bring themselves to a win before the night is all said and done. Bombers will go with their starting five of Drew Watson, Connor Bishop, Dion Doyle, Brayton Holthouse, and Ian Case. And as will IVC, they'll go with Brayden Coventry, Cole Yates, Stephen Braun, Kai Morrow, and Adam Wetzelspan. 31-14 here at the break. The horn just sounded, and both teams in their huddles talking things over. Bombers trying to get to 21-5 and on the season, and again, the host camp point on Friday night. IVC back out on the floor. Bomber basketball to start quarter three. Again, we're on YouTube as well. So if you do want to cast your TV as you get later into the evening here, bomber basketball, here we go. Third quarter. 
16 minutes to victory. We're underway and fired up from IVC High School. And the corner now goes Case. Bombers in control of it to start the third quarter. Here is Holthouse, top of the key. Hopefully has some momentum from that layup. Breaks the ankles of the Grey Ghost, but the three ball didn't fall off the front of the rim. No good. Ahead for IBC, their first look at the basketball. Braden Coventry. Coventry tapped away by Yates to Holthouse, who takes it up and in. Four points on the night for Holthouse, his first basket of the second half. 33-14. to play. Bombers in control of this one. About a minute into the third quarter. Pull-up jumper, Kai Morrow. In and out, no good. Rebound, Doyle. Ahead to Case. Spin move, Case. Off the back iron and good. Case and Holthouse. And Holthouse gets his quick steal there. And the Bombers say, we're not done yet. 37-14. 37-14. Corner now for Cole Yates. Yates trying to do something with it. Over to Stephen Braun. Braun, pull-up jumper, won't go. Doyle ahead to Case. Case tapped in the air, gets his own rebound and puts it up and in. Timeout, Quinn Morrow. Full timeout. How about that start for the Macomb Bombers from Braden Holthouse and in Case. Four baskets just like that. We'll take a 30-second break. We'll be back after these local messages. We're there to serve, make sure we're creating a fair atmosphere for both teams, upholding the integrity of the game. I chose to be an official. It's the best decision I've made. In life, things aren't scripted. Games aren't pre-scripted. You know, I got into officiating because my father was an official officiating was part of our family life it wasn't just the game you get to be outside you get to like experience the game it's so much more fun you can get a lot out of it if you're an athlete we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating to help me become not only a better official but a better person it happens in every town in every game we never have a perfect game but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And it's just been wonderful. Back in action at a Quinn Morrow's full timeout. Viewers from all over tonight, Winter Haven, Florida, Hannibal, Missouri, uh, Macomb, Lazy Boy Central in Macomb, Illinois, Gulf Shores, Alabama, Boise, Idaho, Monmouth, Minnesota. Good to have everybody with us tonight. Bombers in non conference action and are taking care of business here on the road. 39. 39- 14. Foul there charged to Kai Morrow, his second personal team first of the second half. Bombers take it back the other way. It's Drew Watson. Feeding corner finds Doyle. Doyle, easy look down low to Case, who converts. Case and Holthouse, the only two with baskets in the second half, but they're taking care of business right now and playing well. And have really set the tone and the standard right now for this Macomb offense. Here is the beginning of the second half. Bombers not going away. Ball loose on the floor. Bishop trying to pick it up to Doyle. Doyle, man, it could have been slammed in the basket. He knows it. He laughs it off. Conley will come in for Connor Bishop. Gray Ghost basketball going the other way. Left to right, now right to left. 527 left, third quarter, Macomb 41, IVC 14 here in Chillicothe. Back to the top for Cole Yates. Yates feeds down low, finds Stephen Braun. And the Grey Ghosts get on the board for the first time in the second half. 41-16 now. Case at the top of the key. Spin move, 360. 
off the front of the rim, no good. That might be the first one he's missed in the second half, but he gets the steal in the air. Ahead to Malachi Conley, swatted away by Coventry. Bombers will keep it. Quick three ball right out of the gates of the play from Drew Watson. A Brown shoe fit three ball, his second one of the night. 44-16, nicely done there. Coventry at the top of the key to the corner. Tomorrow for three. 44-19, Morrow's second three ball of the night. 4 7 to play, third quarter, 44-19. Case top of the key to the corner for Braden Holthouse. Conley top of the key. Conley to the corner finds Ian Case. Case to Holthouse who drives. Doyle grabs it, trying to find a pass, swing move, and got it. No problem. Bombers are just... Running away with this now. 46-19. Wetzel Spratt, top of the key. To the corner. Finds Kai Morrow for three. Won't go. Rebound Holthouse. Holthouse will reset. 3-10 to play. Third quarter. Bombers well in control of this one. Old house to Case. Case, he'll feed to Watson. Watson in the corner. He will drive, find a wide open path, up and in. Drew Watson. 48-19. Coventry with it. Feeds corner. Three ball quickly from Cole Yates. In and out didn't go. Case on the rebound. Case. Spin move to Braden Holthouse, who picks it up, brings it back outside. Conley at the top with it now. Two and a half to play. Corner for Drew Watson. Corner Malachi Conley. Conley drives, spin move, toss up, won't go. Ball's loose, finally grabbed by the Grey Ghost. Coventry going the other way, and we have our second foul of the second half. It will be Conley. Conley second, team first. Fouls one apiece. Steichel in the lane. Grabbed by Jake Hobson. Hobson to hold house. Who relaxes to play. Two minutes to go, third quarter, 48-19. Conley to Holdhouse, who's directing traffic on the floor. Holdhouse to Conley, 145 left. Out top, Lambert for three, won't go. Rebound to Hobson to Holdhouse, who thought about shooting it, didn't take it. Conley back to Holdhouse. Bishop now looks to Lambert. Bombers swinging around the outside, just wasting down some clock. Holdhouse with it. Back to Conley. Bombers just moving it around now. Ball loose, picked up by Lambert. He's in trouble. Hobson. Under a minute to go, and that finally out of bounds off a of fan in the second row. Ghost basketball. Ghost basketball the other way. 50 seconds left. 48-19. Lobber with it. 43 seconds. Radcliffe in the corner. Back to Lobber. Lobber drives. Ball tapped in the air. Rabbi Radcliffe, whistle and a foul. Foul for number five. 
Conley will pick up his third personal team second. Hobson knocks it into the hands of Conley. Conley to a wide open. Braden Holthouse takes it up, swatted away. And a goaltending call. Fifty nineteen, out of the goaltending call. In the lane, Lomko. Lomko kicks top of the key. Ten seconds left. Ward with it. Ward, Radcliffe. Radcliffe feeds over Lomko. Lomko to Radcliffe. Two seconds. One. Not going to get a shot off. To finally do. It's not even close off the front of the rim. Bombers in control. 50-19. One quarter left. Back after these local messages. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family-owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. Shop local. Shop Macomb. One quarter left here in Chillicothe, Illinois. 50 to 19, the Bombers leading the way. Great Ghost basketball to get the final quarter underway. And away we go. Lobber to bring it up the floor. 50 19. Bombers well in control of this one. In the lane, toss-up floater won't go out of the gates from Tyler Lomber. Rebound Drew Watson. Watson ahead. No look. Toss in from Leighton Lambert. How about that? Langdon Lambert tosses it up and in. No look pass. And no look basket. 52-19 out of bounds there. It is a running clock now for the remainder of the contest because of the uh, extended lead. Drew Watson will come out. And here comes Tommy DeMar Tommy DeMarchi. Bishop will come out as well. It's Hobson, Lambert, Conley, Penn, and DeMarchi out there for McComb. 52-19 running clock the rest of the way. The 20, 20 ranked McComb Bombers going to move to 21 and 5 here in just under seven minutes. They'll be 21 and 5 to face the Central Panthers of Camp Point on Friday night for senior night. Lobber with it. He feed over to Steinkel. Six and a half to play. 52-19. Outside perimeter now, Ratcliffe feeds top of the key. Long three ball good from Kai Morrow. He's kind of been the key player who's hit the three ball, but just a little too late now. That cuts the lead to 30. Conley trying to answer with a pull-up jumper. Won't go off the front of the rim. 52-22. Six minutes to go in the contest. Doyle. In the lane. Ball tapped around. Hobson trying to get a hand on it. Goes finally pick it up. Steichel. In the lane. No good for Morrow. DeMarchi on the rebound. He'll take it back the other way. 5.45 to go. Conley on the outside. Jeremy Anderson says reset. Tommy come up. 5.37 to go. Conley with the drive in the lane. Swatted away from Conley. He wanted a foul. Didn't get it. All ball. Brommer with it the other way now to Lobber. Lobber in the lane. It's the offensive player control foul. Be on Lobber, his second personal team first. 
Five minutes left in this one. It's Conley to inbound. Tommy DeMarchi to bring it up the floor. Bombers by 30. 52-22. Good to have viewers all with us tonight. Gulf Shores, Alabama, Boise, Idaho, Monmouth, Minnesota, Bedford, Texas, McComb, Illinois, along with Las Vegas. Good to have everybody with us tonight. Thanks for spending Tuesday night with us. Whistle and a foul there the other way. That'll be on McComb. Comb, Illinois as well. Some of them make it. Some of them don't. First free throw up and good from Z Pin. That foul was charged to Bryce Ratcliffe, his first personal team second. Second free throw. Missed it. So 53-22. With four minutes to go. Radcliffe. They'll feed around the outside perimeter. Coventry down low. Good look. Won't go off the top of the rim for Brommer. Scramble for it. Picked up by Z Penn, who gives it to Tommy DeMarchi to bring it up the floor with 335, 345 left. 53-22. DeMarchi at the top of the key. Trying to find a path. Kicks to pin in the corner for three. Missed it. Lambert tried to get the put back. Gray goes basketball. Gray goes take it the other way. 53-22, 3.15 to play in the contest. Top of the key, Kai Morrow. Fired a three, won't go. Ball tapped around. Somebody tried to grab it. Lambert had a hand on it. And a foul and a technical. Double foul there. How about that? And a technical. How about that? So Radcliffe charged with the technical. Conley to shoot the free throws. Missed the first one. Obviously the technical free throws. Shot first in this situation. And he'll make the second one. Bryce Radcliffe will have a seat after his technical foul. 2.15 left. Conley to take it out. DeMarchi tossed one up. Gray goes basketball. IBC takes it back the other way. 54-22 Bombers. Kai Morrow back top of the key to Steichel. Long three ball, no good from Morrow. 118 left. Put back. Off the top, won't go either. Stays with IVC. Fifty-four twenty-two. 60 seconds left. Quick toss in, up, no good from Morrow. Rebound DeMarchi, or excuse me, rebound Penn. Penn feeds to DeMarchi. 50 seconds left. Bombers, the 20 seed, or the 20th ranked McComb Bombers will go to 21 and 5 and host Camp Point. Bombers with more home games than road games left finally. Two home games, one road game. They'll go to Pace and Seymour uh, next week and then wrap it up the regular season with Monmouth Roseville uh, that following Wednesday night. 54-22, ball loose there off the hands of Polk Jr., who gives it back to Conley. 20 seconds left. And that will just about do it. McComb comes into Chillicothe. 
takes care of business and the Bombers with a commanding 54-22 victory on the road tonight. No problem. Post game show is next from Chillicothe High School. Back after these local messages on the Bomber Sports Network. Bomber basketball is brought to you by Allen Thompson State Farm Insurance. For all your insurance needs, stop by today for a free quote or give them a call at 309-833-2400. You can also visit them online at www.allensf.com. Like a good neighbor, Allen Thompson is there. The Macomb Bomber Booster Club. Visit them today at www.bombersports.org to find out how you can get signed up and support all Bomber Athletics this season. Get in the game. Join the Bomber Sports Boosters today. Ron Elbiato Sales. Elbiato Sales, family-owned and operated, located at 1525 East Jackson Street in Macomb, offering you the best quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. Stop in or visit us online at lbsellscars.com to see our full list of inventory. The YMCA in McDonough County. The YMCA has tons of programs to offer and are now enrolling for their fall session. Check out their website for more information at www.macombyMCA.org or contact them at 309-833-2129. The YMCA, McDonough County, now open 24-7 for those 18 years older. Brown Shoe Fit of Macomb. At Brown's, we know feet. We've been fitting people like you with comfortable footwear for over 100 years. Brown Shoe Fit in Macomb. Abram Olson, Country Financial. Get business, farm, life insurance, and retirement planning from Country Financial. We help you find the insurance and all the financial solutions with the right tools at the right time. Let Abram Olson help you out. Give him a call at 309-836-2885 or stop in at 1601 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Billy's Furniture. Quality, style, comfort, and value. You'll find it all at Billy's Furniture in Macomb. Stop in and see Jeremy and the guys today for all your furniture needs. Located at 1401 East Jackson Street in Macomb. Westside Lumber of Macomb. Located at 1301 West Jackson Street in Macomb, Illinois. Shop based hardware for your grills, hardware, home improvement, lawn, and garden tools. Westside Lumber, your helpful hardware place. Ryan Bringer Chiropractic, specializing in all your chiropractic needs. Dr. Bringer is located at 1526 West Jackson Street in Macomb. Give him a call to schedule your next appointment at 309-837-1466. Bringer Chiropractic, discover what your chiropractic can do for you. Pumo Insurance Agency, let their friendly, experienced, and knowledgeable staff help you find the best coverage for your needs. Whether it be home, auto, life, agriculture, individual, or group insurance, they've got you covered. Pumo Insurance, 19 East Side Square in Macomb. First Bankers Trust Company, where customers are always first. Proudly serving the communities of Quincy, Minden, Carthage, Russell, and Macomb, along with Springfield, and adjacent counties in Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. The best financial service company in the market. Back of the postgame show here, and the Bombers take care of business on the road tonight, 54-22. Justice Keen, Justin Ellison, Bombers assistant coach. And, you know, you, you never know what you're going to get with a long bus ride, you know, all the way to Chillicothe, but um, a nice win, and you get to take a long bus ride, but a good bus ride back to McComb. Yeah, I thought uh, the boys did a really good job about warming up hard and kind of putting ourselves in a position that we were ready when the game started. Uh, Defensively, we were awesome from the beginning. Um, the ball pressure really got us going. Um, and we do a good job when we're playing with confidence and playing with the lead. So, again, credit to the boys. They warmed up hard. They were ready to, ready to roll. <clears throat> and then the start of the game, just we just kept it going through four quarters. I'm going to tell Papa Keen you said that because he, he said, you know, for a long time, it's, it's, it's all about how you warm up, and that can translate in the game. You know, one of the other things I noticed tonight was, or the last two games basically was the free throw shooting. You go six of six in the second quarter, and you make two in the thir- in the fourth, and uh, two in the first. You know, you get those free throws to fall, and translates. You know, those are easy points. Well, yeah, going back to Saturday, um, <clears throat> big win. We made all eleven free throws down the stretch. That's why we won. Um, you know, this time of the year there's a good chance that games are going to come down to one or two possessions. And when you make free throws, you're going to give yourselves a, a chance to win those games. So now is a good time for us to be making our free throws. And we, the, the, the thing is, we just got the guys shooting free throws that we want them. You know, when Drew's, Drew's at the free throw line, Braid's at the free throw line, Dean's on the free throw line, those guys are going to normally make them. That's who we want shooting free throws. 
Um, you guys have a good Camp Point team on Friday night for senior night. We'll get to honor the seniors before the game and cheer team a lot of their seniors, dance as well, and uh, we wish them the best of luck. And But talented Camp Point team, you saw them with the holiday tournament. Well, you didn't get to see them. You were watching football. Yeah. But um, the team got to see them at the holiday tournament, yeah. and uh, you know it's going to be a good atmosphere when they come to town, and they always bring a good good crowd as well. Yeah, he does a great job. Camp Point's always one of the hardest teams you'll play just because of the way they defend. It's hard to run your stuff. Um, he does a great job. Um, you know, we're a different team now than what we were in December, and they are too. So I think it's uh, two teams that are playing well. I think Friday night will be a good one. Um, I know it's senior night. I, the boys will be ready to go. So it should be a good one. Late start tomorrow morning. I think the boys uh, earned the extra hour of sleep. Yes, yes. Luckily, we're getting out of here at a decent time. Only 8 you know, o'clock. They'll get their rest. So they'll have no yeah. excuse not to be ready to practice for two hours tomorrow. That's no problem. Coach Tanner Scott, um, and you guys will have your fun meeting tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Tell him I look good in my orange. Yeah, he's got his, uh, his pumpkin orange. Look like a pumpkin. But <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, love I hope it. you're listening. But. Love it. 54-22, congratulations, and yep. uh, good win. Thank you. Good, All right. Thank you. Justin Ellison on the post-game show. Bombers take the victory. We'll be back with you um, Friday night for Senior Night. Bombers Camp Point Central. From IBC High School, I'm Justice Keene. So long, and good night. We'll see you Friday for Senior Night against Camp Point Central.